Hello, I'm Thomas Fox. Once again, talking about tampers today. Not much of a blending job, but talking about it. This is a tamper. This is a tamper. This is a tamper. Some people refer to a tamper as a plunger. Well, it's not a plunger. Oops, that thing went in my face. Ah, gross. Anyways, this is a plunger. It's not a plunger. Get it? We're not talking about a plunger. We're talking about tampers. All right, let's not refer to those sticks, steering sticks or emergency tamper sticks, whatever you want to call them. Not a plunger. Not a plunger, okay? Got it, anyways. Alternatively, Blendtec, some want to use a fork. Well, tamper for the Blendtec blenders, people, and people buy them. Some say not needed, still some people need them. Not everybody, but there's lots of variables there when you blend. Uh, things can get stuck, not the right speed at the moment, too much ingredient, not enough water, ice cubes getting stuck, something, you know, it always can happen. Uh, not on a regular basis, it's only for emergency purposes, so you do not use a fork. Some people do this here. Very dangerous. They forget it in there, turn on the blender, this thing wraps around the blade, destroys it, shoots out of the container, pokes out your eye. Something like that. Anyway, so just wanted to clarify that. There is nothing wrong with having a tamper for just in case. By the way, they don't break very easily. They will break, however, if you do this here, okay? The normal proper use is you pop out the lid. You see this? You pop out the lid, put it on here. It doesn't touch the blade, okay? Improper use. I hope that makes sense. That's the only way how you're gonna break a tamper. Okay? Tamper, plunger. Tamper, plunger. Not for that. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. FreeBlenders.com